Today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect your Wemo Mini Plug to your Google Home. What's going on? Welcome to today's video. My name is Colton. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect your Wemo Mini Plug to a Google Home. Now, I show a Google Home Mini in this video, but the steps that I'm going to show you aren't necessarily just confined to a Google Home Mini, but any type of Google Home product. The amount of time that it took me to connect my Google Home to my Wemo was about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, it is fairly shorter because I previously set up my Wemo Mini Wi-Fi plug. Actually, yeah, make sure you set up your Wemo plug before you actually watch this video and follow these steps or else it probably won't work. Make sure you have a device that's plugged into your Wemo and you've also set up your Wemo account previously. It makes it a lot easier to actually link your Google account to Wemo when this is done already. Go ahead and crack open your Google Home app and you will go to the account setting. Here you'll actually select set up or add a device. Select the very top option set up device again and you will also select have something already set up assuming you've already set up your Wemo account previously. And if you haven't, go do that now. Scroll all the way down to the W's. It takes a minute because there are a ton of apps out there that connect to Google Home and select the Wemo icon. On the next screen you're taken to, hit ready to verify and you'll be taken to a next screen that has a two minute timer. Go over to your Wemo plug and if it's on, turn it off. And if it's off, turn it on. This screen actually took me a moment to understand because I thought when I would interact with my Wemo turning it on and off, something would change on my phone and it didn't. What has to happen is if you turn on your Wemo or you turn off your Wemo, you have to tap on the timer to let them know that you did something. This really just verifies that the plug that you're playing with and trying to connect to your Google Home is actually yours. After you select yes, that's me, you'll be taken back to your Google Home app and everything will be all fine and dandy. You can check that the device is actually on and linked and you can now add this device to a home that you may have already set up within your Google Home app and you can go ahead and go test out the Wemo plug with your Google Home. So you can turn it off, you can turn it on within your Google Home app. You can actually tap on the Wemo device within your Google Home and it'll bring up a simple on off feature that you can play around with. And the best part of Google Assistant are the voice commands. So I'm actually going to go in and change this device name to a camera plug. And here I'll demonstrate how easy it is to give Google Assistant a command to control your Wemo plug, turning it on or off. Turn the camera plug off. You got it, turn the camera plug off. Turn the camera plug on. on the camera plug. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you liked what you just watched, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, if you wanna see other how-to videos that I've done in the past, go ahead and click on this link right here. And don't forget to click on this icon to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future project, review, or unboxing videos that I have coming up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to connect your Google Home Mini to your Wemo Mini, make sure you do so down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and we'll see you next time.